New and better sources are being de developed. Gary Stryker reports from Eastern Tennessee. I'm out here on June 20th in a stand of Alamo switchgrass. I'm six foot six, and as you can see, this grass is already on June 20th over my head, and it's got another eight weeks left to grow before the fall. You can see why we're interested in it for growing biomass. Biomass, plant material that can be turned into fuel, specifically ethanol. And Professor Patrick Kaiser of the University of Tennessee is high on grass, switchgrass. This is really a pretty big boon to wildlife. That This provides a lot of cover, as you can see. It's undisturbed all through the summer, which means that grassland birds that want to nest out here can do so and get their nests off without being destroyed by harvesting. So this is where switchgrass then is a very nice fit. It's very high yielding. We can get about eight dry tons per acre uh, without any irrigation. Kelly Tiller is president of Genera Energy, a company that processes switchgrass so it's sent to a biorefinery where it's turned into ethanol. But first, someone needs to grow it. Last year we had a you know pretty severe drought, but we still got like four cuttings off of it, and uh, it handles the drought very well. And because it's a perennial, fields don't need to be plowed up every year and fertilized. That means no pollution running to nearby waterways, which support one of the most biodiverse areas in the country. Water quality here matters. It really matters. Switchgrass, one possible solution as America gradually switches to a more sustainable energy future. In Venor, Tennessee, Gary Stryker for NBC News. All right, and taking a look at our...